Hey everybody, I am John Barker, and in this episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, we're going to take a look at how to create this smooth picture-in-picture -picture advanced looking effect with two A10 Minis, one A10 Mini and one A10 Mini Pro, and all created with macros and the use of Companion. So let's take a look. And this is using two A10 Minis, in my case an A10 Mini and an A10 Mini Pro, but it should work with any combination, and in my case I went for the A10 Mini to do some of the work, and the Pro is doing the recording and some of the work as well. I will admit this is slightly ridiculous to get this effect, but if it's something you want and need, and you already have a couple of ATEM minis lying around, then it might be worth just giving it a go, seeing how tricky it is to set up. You might realize that you don't want to do this, and you're just here to watch for the ride, or you might realize this is something you actually want for the odd client, and it might work pretty well for you. The ATEM mini, which is sort of the secondary device in this setup, is only really got one input coming in, which is the speaker's presentation. In my case, I have it set up here. As you can see, uh, this is a PowerPoint presentation, and I'm able to just take that PowerPoint presentation either full screen or off to the side. And you saw that effect earlier. And then in the background there, we have a picture from the media player. That's one part of the whole puzzle. And uh, I'm using macros. Instead of using the ATEM software control, I'm using macros to go from full screen and down to that secondary position. The HDMI signal from the ATEM Mini is going out into the ATEM Mini Pro as one of its inputs. So I'm able to show it here and uh, slide it out of the way from this production. I'm actually recording this whole video on the ATEM Mini Pro, so that's what you can see here. And then in the background there, you can see uh, that's just the shot with the ATEM Mini output. And then I'm adding on top of that the shot from the ATEM Mini Pro. It's working the same way where it's going from full to run to A or run to B within the upstream keyer, and I'm able to send myself full screen or send myself off to the side. Now this is all achieved with macros, with the upstream keyer, and with setting uh, A and B points within that upstream keyer. So I can run to A, run to B. If you haven't played with that stuff yet, then give it a go. But if you're not sure where to start, uh, underneath this video there is a link to a blog post which has all the details and you're able to grab the macro details as well, load those into your ATEM Mini and ATEM Mini Pro and recreate this exact setup. It may take a little bit of messing around just to get it perfectly right and you need to get the inputs right or you can tweak it yourself. But in general, in the blog post, you should be able to get most of this up and running pretty simply and then go from there. Other than that, of course, you can recreate this yourself without grabbing those macros from the description. If you load in the ATEM settings, you will see in the macro pool here, this is the ATEM Mini, the secondary device. I have presentation to full, and then I've set up a left and right version, depending on what way you want your speaker to stand. Now, if I just uh, pop over to the ATEM Mini Pro, instead, I can take a look at the settings in there, and then into the, uh, the macros pool as well. I can see I have a few in here. Um, some of those are USK on and off. It's just to uh, to test some stuff out. But up here is where the main ones are. Uh, presenter to full, presenter to left, presenter to right. And as long as everything matches up in terms of the inputs, then it all equals out and it works nicely. Now you wouldn't want to switch between the two ATEM minis in uh, the ATEM software control because it would really slow you down, of course. And clicking on all those macros and stuff is not a fun way to do it. So instead I went for companion and triggering all those things through that. Let's take a look at how that works. So here I am in Companion showing off the four buttons that I've set up. Slides to the left, slides to full, presenter to full, and presenter to right. Now, let's take a look at the full ones. Here you can see that uh, these are pretty simple. I'm just running a macro that um, is called presenter to full, which is uh, the one I showed you a minute ago in the ATEM Mini Pro's macro pool. Let's take a look at the other one. It's the same, it just runs a macro that I've set up in there. If we take a look at the slides one, you can see these are a little more complicated. The reason the slides one are a little more complicated is because you actually have to control both ATEMs at the same time. While I'm going full screen on my secondary ATEM with the big PowerPoint picture, I actually have to control the other ATEM at the same time and tell it what to do. I can show you a little bit of an example of that right now. If I was to send myself off to the side and then I was going to go full screen with the, uh, the presentation, you can see there that I disappear. But if I didn't disappear, then I would be still there the whole time, which kind of defeats the purpose. So in Companion, that's why you control both of these 
at the same time. So if we take another look at that, you can see the ATEM Mini, which is the secondary device, goes full screen on that presentation, which is what I want. It actually also puts that input on preview on the ATEM Mini Pro, and it does an auto transition. And this way I'm able to simultaneously make the picture big full screen, but also fade out the presenter out of the way instead of them going off screen in an instant, just like you saw a second ago. It's a little subtle detail, but if you get it wrong, it looks really odd. On a similar note, you'll see here on the slides to left, we want to sort of undo what we just did, which uh, on the ATEM Mini, we do the presentation, send it off to the left so it's a bit smaller. And then on the ATEM Mini Pro, the main switcher, we want to also make sure that um, this camera, camera number four, is on preview. And then we do another ATEM auto transition. And again, this is just so that everything fades nicely and looks good. Otherwise, it kind of jumps on screen and jumps off screen and it doesn't look so good when that happens. <sighs> and that's it. That's how it all works. Um, like I said, you might have been uh, realizing it's a bit ridiculous. And uh, if you press the buttons and it all works in companion, everything works pretty well. If you start tweaking with the ATEMs, one of the ATEMs during a production, uh, things might not act exactly as you expected. But I always think if, if a client comes along and they really want this kind of effect and all you have at your disposal is a couple of ATEM minis, then you can recreate this and, uh, and make it work really well for yourselves. Another thing to note is that sometimes people like to use four by three presentations. I like to push them away from that if I can, but that doesn't always uh, end up being the case. So it might be worth spending some time and trying to configure some macros if that's the kind of setup you're usually in. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I tried to make this as clear but concise as possible. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, um, maybe this talked you out of doing this, which is a success for the video as well, I guess. And um, like I said, any questions, any thoughts, any issues, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.